boom. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. This is my friend Nick Recchio of Welcome. Coachman Class B. Welcome all. Yes, we are actually in Middlebury, Indiana. Yep. At the Coachman Class B factory. And I'm trying to bring some videos to you guys, some informational, some upgrades of what's yep. going on. Got some neat mid-year information for yeah. the groups. Yep. We are sitting right now in a 2024 Ford Transit, which becomes what? A 24 Beyond or? 25 Beyond. 25 Beyond. 25 okay. Beyond, 24 mm -hmm. chassis. You're usually okay. going to see that in, in, in the world of Class Bs. Right. And we're not exactly in Coachman Class Bs. We went to the <laughs> Middlebury Little League Park. And, okay. and why are we here? Something that was a big deal, I think in 21? I think they started in 22. We're talking about the digital rear digital view mirrors. Rear view mirror and a Ford. <laughs> yeah, How about that? And a Ford. Awesome. Well, yep. so I think you've had it in the ProMaster for a while. Yes. Yep. And Ford customers, everybody's got chassis envy in one little spot or another, and that's right. cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. All three chassis have their attributes for each customer. Mm -hmm. um, but this is something neat. So for 2024, we've got the rear a digital rear view camera on the transit. Right. And so right now it's in regular mirror. Yeah. And then just to show you guys, boom. Yep. digital so why are we here one right. thing hank showed you is i cannot see we're now mm -hmm. in park mm -hmm. the rear view camera is activated mm -hmm. i cannot see that sign right so that digital mode and we're going to go back to manual mode. manual okay hank got into the owner's manual so there's a great breakdown of this mm -hmm. in your glove box in the owner's manual but we're going to walk you through it ourselves okay so first thing first hank wants me to sit in the seat as i'm driving and find the perfect position so for, I, the, for the manual the mirror and manual yes sir yeah. mm -hmm. so i'm seeing about a half inch in the mirror of the top of the sofa okay so okay. i'm going to try to show folks yep. from your point of view kind of like what that looks like but yeah uh -huh. and then i can barely see and you'll see what we're i reference you saw a shot here mm -hmm. i can see the top accent pieces on the top of the little league signpost and that's why we're backed up to this right so i'm i'm perfect here mm -hmm. so i do a single tap yeah no i thought you want to go to yep. digital so, so all digital. we did was the regular old forward. rights thing right yeah yeah press and hold yeah so i'm now i'm going to go back to zero so you need to press these buttons on yep. the side, but you have to depress them and let go yep. to work. Yeah. So right now mm -hmm. we can only see the tips of that sign. Right. This is at the lowest point. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna single. So let's say we wanted to check out uh, real quick our bike rack or something. Not yeah. In transit, but right. just in general. So I'm gonna go back to where I would prefer to be. Yeah, and in, you, in you need to figure this out for how you like to drive how and how you want to use this torso. tool. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now, okay. Um, so like this, that's how you would like yep, it. Yep, that's okay. that's good to go. Okay. I cannot see that whole thing. I can only see those two. So tips. flip back to manual. Yep. So when you flip back to manual, what are you seeing in I'm, there? I'm trying I'm, to I'm, do it from your point. I'm of right view, there. Yeah. I'm seeing the same. I would call about a half inch strip of the couch. The okay. top of the couch, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty cool. So let's go back to here and show you that. But obviously, it doesn't show you the whole thing you would see in a physical mirror. Correct. Which, if you go back to this physical mirror, you can't see everything yep. you want to see. Yep. So that's why you would use the 360 tool that's down here. And normally, if you're driving, this screen will be on or any other screen you're in, right? On your yep. menu. So let's go. Yeah. Let's if go to you, drive. Yeah, so that's what'll be on. Now, if you go to reverse, it's gonna automatically go and show you your backup and the 360. Yep, and then let's right? do what and we And see, that's a way better view here. It's a wider yep. view, right? Yeah, yep. really. so you can use that to park really and all that. Yeah. This okay. red line is a protective film. We're just- Yeah, so we don't wanna take that off yep. for you. You guys take it off. That does not, that silk screening is a protective film as well. Yeah. Okay, so now, and then let's see what happens in the digital side of this. It's still showing you that, so yep. there's no nothing up here guiding you. Two screens now. You yeah. Digital here. Yeah. Digital backup. Do we okay. want to try this? Let's sure. Try go it. ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in, should I get in drive or stay in back? Well, let's go back to drive for a second okay. just to show everyone how this is set up. So if you're in drive, 
and you you want to see what's behind you better if you actually go to this it's going to show you 360 but this camera is up front yep and if you go to the menu here you get some choices but what we noticed is we're in surround sound which is the circle all around you could do forward this is forward of us that's so, what you guys see here so we're getting a wide wide pan we almost yeah. can see these trucks over here in the road that we, yeah we can't even see yeah here but that's the front of the van yep. and then if you go here this is i think this is bringing it in a little bit mm -hmm. but still showing you front of the van and i think the reason for that is if you're driving and obviously you're up high here if you look at this but if you want to see what's in front of you could be like a kid or something you don't want to damage or bike. hurt yeah bike or something yep. like that yep. you just press this button it's going to go to the front yep. so then you're like well what if i want to see what's behind me so okay we're go going reverse, into reverse and then that changes to reverse and then here you have this menu again and you can go to the wide what's behind you that this is more three yeah 360 that's 360 split yep and then this gives you the whole screen you Direct. can see what's behind you and then do that again you got it fat fingers there you go and then that narrows what's behind you yep yeah that's pretty cool yeah i like that i like yeah. that yeah safety 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 comfort 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 yeah you're managing a lot you don't have a typical van mm -hmm. you got a van that weighs more than a regular van mm -hmm. you're in traffic having this at your fingertips yeah. is just really just special. press the button so now if you want to see what's behind you it's not really going to help you for that if you're in traffic but if you're if you're backing up it'll help you and then if you go to drive go back to drive it goes back to this and then if you press that you're going to see this 360 which may show you if there's a car right there behind you do you want but you're going to see the front if we can drive with this or does sure, it stop absolutely. at five miles per hour uh yeah let's show folks that okay, yeah so go we're gonna just go down drive. the road here a little bit so you're at about you're less than five right now and it's still okay, there watch, watch it for me because i gotta watch yeah it. okay less than five still there and it just went away five. when you hit about seven six yep. or seven yeah so um I wonder if it comes back on at five i doubt it no i i, I think once that switch happens yep, safety switch yeah so if you guys are asking that's all like nitsa stuff in mm -hmm. my opinion or national highway safety yep. administration so we're like at four Something miles like per hour right now there, yeah there i just punched it yeah if you bit. punch it if you're going slow enough like you're not going slow yeah, enough so now. I'm at 10 nothing yeah if there's no one behind yeah, you slow good. down a we're little good. and let's see i'll try to hit it it won't yeah, you have to go below that five. See, as soon as he hit five, yep. I was able to press it again. So, I mean, listen, I know there's going to be some old school guys out there that are going to say, how do we survive without that? I'm 20 years I've been yep. doing this. And that's true, right? That's why you've got the manual mirrors. People put those. What are those things? There's like a sticker people put back there and it kind of gives them like a a magnifier glass in the back have you seen that in some I've of the beyond yeah i've seen it so you, you've got all these tricks but this is technology coming to your rescue it's not going to be perfect yep. but it does help if you yep. understand it i think one last little safety feature a lot of people at first did not like the big truck style mirrors oh these yeah okay <laughs> however yeah okay I'm getting some reports mm -hmm. from customers that said hey nick can we get something more automotive instead of truck mm -hmm. Getting some feedback for some from customers that have these mirrors, mm -hmm. pretty positive. You get a lot of view. Yeah. You get a little bit helper on the right. turning, the bottom turning. Right. So again, mm -hmm. they might not be aesthetically perfect. Safety, safety, safety. Yeah, I think the reason that some people like I have on mine, my, my I think I've got a 21. Mm -hmm. um, mine, they fold. These don't fold right because they're extended out like that so they don't fold but you do because it's extended out you get more of a view behind you yep. so that's the positive yep. of it it's give and take yeah it's yeah give and take yeah i always i have a like a saying that drives lolo crazy i say for everything you want you have to be willing to give up everything you have Compromise right is very important <laughs> yes especially so <laughs> yeah especially yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed that we're driving around on the campus of coachman right now so if anyone wants to complain about us not having seatbelts, we're not going that no, we're not fast going that or far. anything so but i just i did want to share that so now beyond have digital rear view mirrors nick yep, yep. we went thank that. you sir <laughs> all good all good happy uh -huh. to see this Exciting. Yeah, very exciting. So there may be some models out there right now that don't have it, but everything going out of the factory from you that's a beyond has it, 2024. right? 2024. Okay. Yep. 
Sweet. All good, all good. Okay, I look forward to hearing that about other things. So now you've got Ford Transit and the Ram Pro Master yep. digital rear view mirror, so very yep. nice. While we're hearing all kinds of things about the economy, interest rates, inflation, it, it is very difficult back here. We're going full steam ahead, guys. Um, mm -hmm. We're not compromising one bit. Customer service, same old story with Coachman, old reliable, we're, we're, we're people of our roots. We want your business. Reason why I say that is getting on the phones, customer service on the phones. I think some other brands are definitely not paying attention to why we're all here mm -hmm. and who these products are supposed to go to mm -hmm. and the, 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 the fulfillment part. To build a product, to have people give you gifts. The other day, somebody dropped a bottle of wine. They were just driving through nice. Indiana. <laughs> cool. And suppliers are like, what in the... Mm -hmm. It's about doing the right thing, even yeah. when it's difficult. Yeah. And uh, we're so blessed with some of the best customers yeah. in the world, with the best customers in the world, and we appreciate mm -hmm. you being here. It's because you and your team, you, you guys work really hard. And so obviously I have a relationship with Coachman. I'm your, mm -hmm. I'm the Class B brand ambassador, myself and Lola. Just so everyone knows here, but I talk to people a lot, right? Like I, I take a look at a lot of vans out there, oh, yeah. and I talk to a lot of people. I have never seen or heard of a guy who actually runs that division building those vans doing as much work as you do or even what i see from the rest of your team how involved they are i'm not going to remember everyone's name but like paul yep. all the other guys over here are working all the time to keep people happy and i think listen it's a big deal everyone's not doing it they should but congratulations to you guys what you that. just said i just want to add a couple seconds everybody every gm or every every mm -hmm. Thor's got their own levels of management. Forest River's got their own levels of management. Winnebago's got their own levels of management. And what I'm saying here is that if you are buying mm -hmm. a hundred something over a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars in the RV industry, especially mm -hmm. a Class B, you might want to know the general manager. Mm -hmm. And the guy who has to pay the difficult bills, right. the guy that talks to the customers, that goes to the shows. Mm -hmm. And if there's not, I'm not saying anything negative. I like following YouTube. Mm -hmm. I got my own subjects that I follow. Right. A lot of Class B stuff. But I want to be there as the voice of some of the greatest people in Indiana mm -hmm. uh, in Michigan. And for you guys to know, if we're talking about something, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And we might make a little technical error or whatnot, mm -hmm. but I'm very involved in everything here. You've been here a couple days. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can't turn my back <laughs> right. um, without having to go back. And, yeah. and that's not necessarily good all the time. Mm -hmm. I want to be involved in everything I can be, but still produce the quality uh, customer service and the products that we're known to, known to produce. Yeah. Something cool, not saying anything against Gallery or Beyond. I've mentioned in the past, Beyond's numbers struggle because we can't get chassis. Galleria price point, the mm -hmm. chassis keep creeping, kind of hang. Yep. A little uh, bit. Mercedes got some really cool, yep. Yep. Got some cool things coming in the future there. Mm -hmm. Nova just cracked the top 10. Mm -hmm. um, and that is the top 10 of all Class Bs. Mm -hmm. And the only two Class Bs in front of us are the Travato and the Solus, and the mm -hmm. Solus really isn't like, not a direct competitor of a Nova. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mm -hmm. have hardwood styles, different mm -hmm. floor plan. Mm -hmm. So really big day shorter. today. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating a little bit today. Thank you to all the Nova customers, Beyond customers, Galleria customers. Yeah. We're all cousins, we're all stepbrothers, we're all family at the end of the day. And I feel that you bought from one of the best divisions in, in the Class B segment, and we live it here. And that's, yeah. that's kind of, I hear it, and we live it. So, yeah, awesome. Uh, thank Congrats. you all. You're and from my I'll say I'll say you're welcome and thank you from for the folks out there. You guys can leave your comments. And you could definitely let us know uh, what else you want to yep. see. I think that when we do these kinds of videos, we don't necessarily do it for the views. We do it just to educate people. Yep. I think a lot of companies are not educating people yep. on their product. So that's what I'm trying to offer in, in what I do. Before I end it here, I just want to say Stranger Palooza is over 100,000 subscribers. And I think that you're one of our partners that's helped make that happen. Hey. So I want to thank you for that. I would not have been able to do that without you and, and your folks supporting me and Lola in this journey. Well, thank you. One of the things about this mm -hmm. YouTube thing that my mm -hmm. family thinks is hilarious is 
I'm uh-huh. a recluse. I don't like, <laughs> I, I mean, you kind of know my lifestyle. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't like being in a barn. I don't like a lot of pictures, <laughs> right. et cetera, et cetera. You've mm-hmm. heard me joke about my mom not having any pictures of me when I was yeah. a kid. A little Hank, bit of a curmudgeon. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hank and Lola have made this very easy and a great outlet, and this has been perfect for the brand, Coachman Class B Brands, mm-hmm. uh, Class B segment, and getting out to the Overland stuff that maybe us main streamers don't mm-hmm. see. It's helped mm-hmm. me learn a little bit, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll have some adventure van stuff here in the future. Cool. Don't hold off on buying anything right. <laughs> beyond over Galleria, but we're going to yeah. do it the Coachman way, Coachman Class B way. Very excited. Great opportunity right now for mm-hmm. Coachman. and uh, It's fun times. Yep. It's a buyer's market, first of all. Absolutely. Which is which is kind of tough for the yep. manufacturers. We don't but... buy MSRP anymore, right? Right. <laughs> no MSRP. Okay. Don't be the person that buys MSRP, okay? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you got to know the game. You got to yep. know the game. That's what we're hoping yep. to show you guys. Yep. So yeah, man, listen, thanks. Thank I genuinely Thank mean that. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys on the next one. I don't want to make this one too long, but I'm going to try to get some good stuff while I'm here in the factory and get it out to you guys. Great we'll see you. Thank you. We're Thank out you of here. All. Peace.